begin week two of uh, what I like to call circuit breaker work for someone else time. Really rolls off the top. Now working and, and riding for a commute has a uh, unintended advantage with the GTMX because it does have a bit of a dirty secret that I haven't, uh, well that I haven't really divulged. It's one of those dirty secrets that literally only riding the bike and making it wear out can fix. I'll tell you about it after. I might be able to stop and play on the pump track, but uh, no. Ding ding! Thank you. Here's a small PSA for all pedestrians. If you're gonna walk in the middle of a trail and veer side to side, have headphones in and not hear me yelling, you're not allowed to get mad when you get startled when I go by. Hold your fu- Main question for the day, was there going to be a trailer to actually load? Yes! from the most efficient bike to commute on, but I'll be damned if it's not the most fun. I say that a lot, but this time I feel like I'm not over exaggerating. So the GTMX's commuting capabilities would be accurately described as adequate. The gearing, 3016, is like pretty good for like tooling around. The minute you get to any sort of like decline, just coast, you're gonna spin out. It's okay for climbing. Really, it's in its own when you're just like on a chill, flat surface, sort of like this. It's like kind of perfect for it. I just basically tried to get the same gear inches that my BMX has just to kind of, I don't know, that's what I knew, so I, I chose it. But the fit and the upright position on it is just eye-opening. Oh my Lord. I feel like I could commute on this for days. 
Not that I am a convert of small saddle to bar drop now. That will never happen, I hope. It's just kind of cool to have like a slightly different riding position on this bike where it really picks up the slack and makes it the most fun bike probably in my stable right now. Uh, other than the fact that it is so novel and new is the fact that it can seamlessly transition over to being a like moderately adequate BMX bike as well. Therefore, I can use it to commute and also scratch the itch of riding BMX when it's the only bike that I have, such as stopping at the pump track and riding like a little bit of street on the way home. I have always tried to do that with some sort of drop bar bike or other bikes in the stable, just without nearly as much success. As for that like uh, that dirty little secret that the GTMX has that I mentioned at the start of this video that you're so anxiously waiting to hear more about, it is about chain tension. Currently the chain is uh, getting looser for sure. That is after a couple commutes, but the wheel's not all the way in the vertical dropout. These dropouts are, they're like fairly deep in the vertical way, but they actually lean back a tiny little bit. So as the wheel goes into it fully, it also affects the effective chainstay length. So the axle kind of gets bolted in at like three quarters the way in the dropout, which has gotten better and better like the few times that I've ridden this thing, just sort of fooling around. Um, but, but the two, two or three, two bicycle commutes that I've done to the studio for taking apart the set uh, have really, really done a number on adding chain stretch and giving the sprocket and the freewheel a little bit of wear. So it's definitely affecting the chain tension a little bit. And I would say after a few more good rides, this will be loose enough that I can just clunk, drop the wheel all the way and I want to be like exactly where it's supposed to be because I'd like to adjust the brake a little bit. I guess it's not that big of a dirty secret. I just, it's something I knew was going to happen because because uh, I couldn't use my 13 tooth freewheel. So it is, it's raining out now. And if there's anything that I've noticed by having like started to ride BMX significantly more often again and uh, toying around with the GTMX so much, it's that the shed is not nearly uh, like weather tight enough for these two, like these two especially, to really be in there. And that became incredibly apparent by, uh, by touching, touching the grips on my BMX when we went and rode on Sunday. That was Monday's upload. I was like, oh, it's still like, they're saturated wet. And, uh, and the rubber grips on the GTMX are the same way. It's a lot less noticeable on uh, a drop bar bike. This stuff can be relatively humid and still pretty grippy. Rubber grips, not so much. So it seems like the office has actually turned into more of a storage space than the shed, which was uh, what the shed was originally designed for. Shop work and storage of bikes. That's why I insulated and did all that work. And now, now I find myself continuously bringing bikes into this room, which tells me I need to do something with this room so that we can spend more time in here. And what I mean by that is a little bit of audio work. So I'm kind of hoping to work on that a little bit this week. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to say to finish this video.